I could be looking at uh, it affects well inland. Uh, on the western side of that forecast cone is Houston, Texas. As we're in Louisiana tonight, Laura on its heels. Preparations are underway to safeguard areas from surge and flooding. The Weather Channel's Robert Ray is in Venice with more. This now we get you to Tropical Storm Laura, which is very much a tropical storm, already responsible for nearly a dozen deaths in Haiti, also the Dominican Republic. And you can see in the video on the left, the storm centered around Cuba, bringing huge waves and surf, knocking out power to nearly 2 million customers. Of course, very heavy rainfall has left plenty of scenes of flooding as well. And now we watch this storm work its way into the Gulf. And the concern is that we could be looking at a strengthening storm as it makes its way closer to the U.S. Gulf Coast. So Tropical Storm Laura right now with 60 mile per hour winds. It is moving west northwest 20 miles an hour. So that's going to put it out over those uh, open waters of the Gulf of Mexico soon enough. And now we are within that time frame where we've got hurricane watches posted right along Along the Gulf Coast, uh, portions of Texas and Louisiana, where we've also got storm surge warnings uh, posted. Threat of storm surge values in the 7 to 11 foot range. So we could be looking at big problems in terms of so, uh, surge. Tropical storm watches also posted across sections of Texas and Louisiana. There is that storm surge watch I mentioned. So that could be a real threat with Laura, whereas it wasn't as much an issue, obviously, with Marco. High resolution enhanced satellite picture beginning to see better organization. Uh, didn't look as great uh, earlier, but now again, beginning to uh, get its act together. And we think, unfortunately, the Gulf of Mexico the atmospheric dynamics at play are going to allow this thing to really get its act together as it makes its way there. We have seen some of the rain showers, gusty showers moving through parts of the Keys today with winds in excess or gusting in excess of 50, even 60 miles an hour. And of course, uh, watching for that to continue as we head into the evening and overnight. You can see some of those showers, gusty showers likely tomorrow morning across the Keys. Once again, we'll watch portions of South Florida as well. But the uh, landfall would likely be coming as we get into late Wednesday or early Thursday. So we want to check in along the Gulf Coast. Our Reynolds Wolf is in Gulfport, Mississippi. Oh, how strong this is going to be when it makes landfall. So uh, any opportunity we have to get better at it is a good thing. Storm surge going to be a real threat with this storm as we expect an intensifying storm as it makes its way closer to the Gulf Coast. You can see by Thursday early morning forecast is for a category two storm with 105 mile per hour winds. Now Marco didn't provide much in the way of a water rise. You can see pretty uh, negligible values at this point in terms of storm surge flooding. So Marco was not the big event in terms of that push of water onto normally dry ground. Instead that is going to be Laura. So storm sur surge watches already posted from Galveston over towards the Gulfport area. Portions of Mississippi could see three to five foot uh, surges, but take a look at uh, portions of Louisiana, but especially as we get over towards, say, Lake Charles, eastern Texas, seven to 11 feet of storm surge possible there. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico plays a role because we've got that wide, shallow slope that creates a higher storm surge into places like Louisiana and Mississippi. So could be seeing worsening effects in this part of the Gulf. We'll be right back. Laura, this storm already responsible for nearly a dozen deaths in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And you can see uh, from the video on the left, the storm now centered over Cuba, bringing huge waves and surf, knocking out power to nearly 2 million. And of course, the flooding continuing to make headlines there. Looking at this to, or to strengthen, that's our anticipation in the coming days. So perhaps could be looking at a more significant Gulf Coast landfall, much more significant than what we're seeing now with Marco. 60 miles per hour winds right now. You can see this is over the western part of Cuba. Hurricane watches now posted along the Gulf Coast into parts of Louisiana and the state of Texas. Then we have the tropical storm watches for areas from Houston over to Grand Isle, Louisiana. Where is this moving? Well, in the next few days out over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what we think is going to provide the opportunity for this storm to strengthen. We've got favorable environmental conditions and, of course, very 
very warm Gulf of Mexico water. So this storm shouldn't have any trouble increasing in intensity, uh, forecasting 105 miles per hour winds at landfall. That would come late Wednesday, early Thursday. A category two hurricane is the forecast with the knowledge that this could strengthen even more than that. You can see some of the uh, squally rain showers have been making it into parts of South Florida today. Some gusty showers moving through places like Key West a little earlier, and we're going to continue to watch for that as we go into the overnight and our Tuesday. So take a look at the future radar. Some showers again could be accompanied by some gusty winds as we get into the early morning hours across sections of the Keys, including the Marathon area early on Tuesday morning and uh, by late morning afternoon. You can see plenty more activity scattered about uh, not steady or consistent, but at least scattered showers possible there. Now we look at landfall scenario one with a weaker area of high pressure that could allow that to shift on that eastern side of the cone. So we could be looking at more of Louisiana in play. If the high pressure is slightly stronger, we might spend more time over water. Uh, the track of Laura could be more on the western side of the cone. That would also allow the storm to have more opportunities to strengthen over the warm waters. Want to check in with Chris Bruin. He has been in New